as an amateur YouTuber, there's some things you have to talk about. And one of those things is the movie spotlights for the film Avengers Infinity War because it is now in production. Guys, I cannot tell you how psyched I am for Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. Um, I have been, to be completely honest, I have been getting tired of all these Marvel and DC films that have been coming out because they're all the same type of movie. There's a new villain, you gotta get these whole bunch of superheroes together to fight the villain, and I get that. That's the plot of every superhero movie, and it's fun, and the, the build-up that they've had over the years is incredible. I love everything about them, but it's kind of like a love-hate relationship for me. Anyways, I'm a huge comic fan um, of any comic book movie turn, turns character into a movie. I love everything about it, and the only problem with, with it for me is that it's kind of a repetitive storyline, but I'm going to set that all aside for Marvel's Avengers Infinity War because, guys, they are adding 60 new characters to the spectrum. That is right, 60 new characters. That is insane. That, like, the amount of screen time these actors and actresses are going to have for Marvel's Avengers Infinity War is just out there ridiculous. And the fact that they are bringing Chris Pratt into it with, with the Guardians of the Galaxy, that's going to be awesome. I know that was rumored for a long time, and then they finally came out and said, yeah, he's in the cast. At the start of this video uh, of the first look, guys, for 2018, uh, which is when the film is uh, uh, going to be coming out, right off the bat, you see um, Robert Downey Jr., Tom Holland as Spider-Man, and Chris Pratt as uh, Star-Lord, and they're all talking to each other about the film uh, behind a huge green screen, and they're just kind of talking about the, you know, like, uh, what it means to them, you know, like, their character or, or the cinematic universe and what it really means to them, and it's so cool to see Tom Holland talking about him growing up watching these films and then talking about how he never thought he would be in one, and I thought that was really cool to see. Uh, I loved him as Spider-Man in Civil War. I'm super excited for the Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, not as much as Thor Ragnarok, in my uh, personal opinion, but I will still be seeing both films. Uh, I love how they added uh, such a young character to the universe, even though Spider-Man is supposed to be young. I just like they teamed him up with a bunch of old people. I thought that was really cool, and it's cool to see, you know, Tony Stark kind of be a father figure to um, Spider-Man in, in Spider-Man Homecoming and, you know, the upcoming Marvel movies, and like you saw in Captain America Civil War. Um, so I thought that was really cool. But yeah, guys, then you see Kevin Feig, uh, which is a producer of the uh, of the film, uh, and he's talking about the whole cinematic universe and how, you know, um, in the past when they started it off with the first Iron Man, um, I think that was back in 2008. I didn't want to say a date because I, I, I am probably wrong. Let me know in the comments when it actually came out. I, I'm totally wrong. I know I am. But it was really cool to see how he was talking about how, you know, uh, this had never been done before in the past where these standalone films would combine their storylines together to form bigger films. And I thought that was a really cool aspect to see because uh, each film builds up on its last character, meaning like, yes, you get a new character, but that new character wouldn't be there without the last character or something that had happened somehow it all ties in and I think that is such a cool aspect and one of the reasons why I love superhero films to this day. And then you guys who have Anthony and Joe Russo, who were the writers of Captain America Civil War, also the director of that film, and they were talking about how that is a setup for, um, you know, the upcoming bigger films and, again, even Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. And they were talking about why they were doing that before they, they released the Infinity War, because they needed to give more... Uh, character insight, and what I mean by that is, like, to add new characters to the movie, and so you don't get so many characters in the, in the newest films that it's just too much, uh, too much to see, too much to handle, too much to grasp, and basically that's why they, they did Captain America Civil War first, and I loved that they did that, it's personally in my top five, like, favorite Marvel movies of all time, right up next to Guardians of the Galaxy, and a few others that I can't, um, come up with at the top of my head right now, but I also thought that was really cool, and they, uh, again, team up with the writers, I think, of this upcoming Marvel's Avengers Infinity War film. And then towards the end of the video, guys, uh, the writers of Marvel's Avengers Infinity War, Stephen McFeely and then Christopher Marcus, um, yes, I'm looking at the video right now. Again, I'm bad with names when it comes to writers. 
Uh, I am trying to get better at that, you guys, uh, just so you know. But then they go ahead and talk about uh, the connection between all the films that they have done in the past, how they relate to the cinematic universe, how Captain America Civil War was a huge and big deal for these upcoming films, because it just ties in all the characters. That's why we're seeing more standalone films, even though we're more psyched to see the bigger films with all of them together. And then they also talk about Thanos and how they have to face him and how he's always been the greatest threat, the greatest enemy, even though uh, they haven't really fought him yet. It's just that you know, and they've been anticipating it so much, they've had to get through all the other battles and all the other fights, and that has prepared them, I think, finally for their biggest threat yet, which is Thanos, but I don't think they're ready for it yet. I personally don't. Um, it, throughout the whole video, there's, like, these stones, and I thought for a second this was Power Rangers, because it literally, the stones looked like the stones from the Power Rangers trailer in the new Power Rangers film. And so I was a little skeptical about that, but besides that, everything they were talking about seems really genuine to the storyline of Thanos and how they're going to have to take him down, and um, just that they will have to face him no matter what. That is happening. That is a thing. That is part of the storyline now, and I think it is great. I think it's cool that they're adding Guardians of the Galaxy characters. Of course they are, because again, it's Marvel Studios, so... Anything can happen, guys, and I just, I, I, I wanted to talk about this today because I'm such a huge Marvel fan. I'm sorry, guys, uh, for those who are DC fans. I do like DC. I have more DC movies on Blu-ray than I do Marvel, only because of the price difference. Um, my favorite DC movie, personally, is Watchmen, uh, but that is another time for another video, for another topic of discussion. But for now, for Marvel, for me, I am looking so forward to Marvel's Adventures of Infinity War and hearing them talk about the set design and show Showing some of the script. Uh, not really. I think it was kind of like a faded image of someone turning pages. Not sure if that was the actual script or not, but I thought that was really cool. I loved hearing the writers and the directors of the most recent films and the newest film talk about the film that they are making and that they are now in production. And that is just so exciting to see. And we can finally start actually counting down to um, the actual Marvel's Infinity War uh, film. And I cannot wait. I, I want to see the new 60 characters in the movie. Um, I want to see all that. I want to see them take down Thanos. I don't know. I, I haven't read the comics, so I can't compare them to the actual films in itself. But I cannot wait for this movie. I will be there. I will be seeing every DC slash Marvel movie that comes out. Um, just because I see everything. And so that is what I wanted to talk to you about, guys, today. Um, Marvel's Avengers Infinity War first look. Have you seen the three-minute video? What are your thoughts about it? Are you a Marvel fan or a DC fan? Will you be there when Marvel's Avengers Infinity War comes out? And also, guys, let me know what your favorite Marvel's film is down below in the comments down below, because I say things twice. Um... But yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what your favorite Marvel film is. And thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick. This is The Tempest Productions. And I will see you guys in the next video.